Okay, folks. So, just for fun, I thought I'd do another Tac Pack Flashbox Friday uh, video. This one, um, and in my last video on these, I'd mentioned that it wasn't every Friday. Uh, and it, it's not. For the most part, it has been every Friday. But uh, they skip a weekend every, every now and then. It's like since the last video I did they had one where it was just a special sale on a mystery shirt uh, and then the weekend the next Friday that I don't recall them doing anything and then this weekend they were uh, doing a special on their uh, biggie grab bag now if you go to tech uh, tech packs website They've got subscriptions that you can uh, subscribe to. Two different boxes. They've got the standard and then they've got the plus. And then they've got extra items that you can uh, shop for and buy. Things like uh, the, the flash boxes don't show up on there. But they've got things like grab bags and, and a, a few other things on there. And this was the grab bag biggie. And... The deal with this one was that they were giving uh, customers 20% off and uh, so it was a, like a flash sale instead of a flash box Friday. Um, your customers were getting 20% off but in honor of Veterans Day and to honor veterans $5 from every grab bag sold would go to the uh, Wounded Warrior. And the price was all total after shipping and everything. It was like $45 plus shipping. So it came out to like $54, which is like $5 cheaper than what an actual standard box would cost you every month. But anyway, I decided to do it. It's not really what I'd call a biggie, but you know it's a grab bag which is nice the the key thing that I liked about it was that they were donating a portion of every bag sold to help wounded veterans and to me that that was worth uh, that was that was worth uh, buying into it even though you know um, it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to pay but you know it's for a good cause and I didn't do one the last couple of weeks so I figured I'd do one this week that's the benefit of doing these flashbox Fridays instead of an actual subscription I can pick and choose whenever I want to do it and again each month is or each Friday is different they might skip one here or there but the last one I did was for an, uh, a maintenance kit. Uh, they had one for EDC, which I really wish I'd bought that one, but I didn't. Uh, so let's see what's in the grab bag biggie. So I'm gonna cut this open. Okay, let's see what's in here. There's actually not a lot in here. Okay. Uh, not as much in here as I would like to see. And I already see one uh, one thing that I don't like and one thing I already had. Alright, so. There are five items in the grab bag B. And of course, the grab bags being what they are, they're going to vary from individual to individual. You know, they're not all going to be identical, obviously. So, um, first off, and again, there's no there's no card in this to explain what each of these items is. So the first thing, I think I've seen this before, and I think I've described. Uh, Seen it described as like a, uh, a a knuckle, 
a brass knuckle. Not necessarily the not necessarily the brass knuckles that cover all the knuckles, but the single one. Um, I guess that's what it's what this is. It's a multi-tool. It looks like uh, it's not really. Okay, let's see. Uh, sorry, I can't hold this today. Uh, North Shore Customs. There's no really dis no real description on it. This is what it is. You've got a slot right here. So I guess there's some multi-tool aspect to it. It's kind of hollowed out here. I've seen this before and I can't remember. I want to say it was kind of like a uh, a knuckle. Maybe like that. But it to me this is not comfortable in the hand. This is not a comfortable fit at all. But I could see how it would work. It's it's not really brass. It's made. It feels like it's made out of aluminum. It's really lightweight. It's not heavy at all. But on on this side there is a groove right there. I'm not sure what that's for. There's a hole here and a hollow there. So take that for what it is. You know, uh, whether it's a, a knuckle or. Or what I don't or some sort of multi-tool I don't know um, the next thing <laughs> that was in here uh, and I've, I've mentioned this before a lot of people love these things I do not to me this is this is nothing I mean a sticker a lot of a lot of guys love these things. To me, I just don't see the appeal in them. I mean, when I was a kid in school, you know, yeah, stickers would be cool. And a lot of adults that subscribe to Tack Pack, they love these things. They collect them. They trade them. I just don't see the appeal in them. To me, they're not useful. So this is just something I I couldn't really care for. Alright, so the next thing is a shirt. Now when you buy something like this or subscribe to their box, they'll ask you your glove size and they'll ask you your shirt size. So Okay, so Jaws. Not really what I would expect out of Tack Pack. Uh, I I don't know. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know. Out of a out of a tactical themed subscription box or grab bag, I would expect something that's I don't know, kind of tactical, EDC gun related something like that um i'm not sure what jaws has to do with that so yeah mm, not real thrilled about that one so so far i'm not really impressed next up and this is one i got in one of my i think i got this in the previous flash box that I bought it's uh, actually this might be a little bit different it's Liberty Lubricants HLP uh, synthetic firearms oil one ounce so I've got two bottles of that now so you know it's useful it's usable and the last item is a uh, let's see, it's a flash hider from Seekins Muzzle, uh, Seekins Precision. Now this is this I suppose could be useful. That's what's on the back. 
It's a one half nest flash hider. Uh, let you have a look at it there. Now I've got uh, I've subscribed to Tack Pack for a cup uh, for a little while there, and uh, I don't recall ever getting a muzzle device. So this is something that might have some benefit. I mean, I do have, I do have a uh, an AR, so this could, this should be able to go on that just fine. This is prob this. <laughs> I wouldn't say I got my money's worth out of this out of this box. I mean, I suppose, I suppose you could say this was possibly worth it that and all the this knuckle or whatever it is I'm not real impressed with that I'm certainly not counting that as anything worth what I spent on the box so to me that I would just consider that uh, this the same as a like a a filler or a freebie I wouldn't count that towards the value of the box and then there's the shirt which you know again I'm not I'm not into wearing shirts like that really to be honest with you but you know if I'm if I'm honest I'm I'm really d disappointed in this bag but again it's a grab bag, so you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, at least there's two semi-useful things in it. And at least a portion of it went to help wounded veterans. So, there is that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that. That's the uh, flash, uh, Attack Pack Flashbox Friday Grab Bag Biggie. Doesn't seem real big to me, but, you know, it is what it is. So, these to me are probably the two best items in there. And this this would probably make up the value of what I spent on it. The rest of it, it is what it is, folks. Again, this is, this is just something for fun, you know, that I used to like to do. I know it's not necessarily the wisest way of spending your money, but... You know, we got to have fun sometimes, and we got to do things we enjoy so that we can uh, manage stress. And this world is full of stress right now. So, anyway, that's all there I've got. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, folks, take care. I'll catch you later.